Welcome back again. Assalamu alaikum. And this is lecture number 20. From lecture number 19, we have defined, uh, we have started uh, talking about the systems defined by linear constant coefficient difference, uh, uh, differential and difference equations. In this lecture, we continue the same topic and we are going to talk about the complete solution of the difference and differential equation. And we also talk about uh, natural response and the force response in this lecture. The complete solution consists of the homogene homogeneous solution and the uh, particular solution. And after determining these two, we determine the coefficients in the homogeneous solution. So the complete solution will be the homogeneous solution plus the uh, particular solution, including the uh, determination of the coefficients in the homogeneous solution. Okay, let's find the solution of the following equation. This is the equation and we need to find the solution for this. So to find the solution for the uh, dif this difference equation, we first need to find the homogeneous solution, then we find the particular solution, and then we find the coefficients and which will result into the final solution. So let's find the uh, homogeneous equation. So recall for the homogeneous equation, we need a characteristic equation. So characteristic equation for the discrete time case is, so this is the characteristic equation and uh, replacing y by y h and replacing input by zero, we get the following expression, right? In this case, because this is the first order equation, so n, n equals to one, so that means uh, when n equals to one, we have uh, a naught, right? R power capital N So we have um, putting the value so because now this uh, we can say that capital N basically equals to one so k is zero at zero we have a k a, a naught and n k is zero so n minus zero n and n equals to one so that means one and then plus the second term will be uh, a1 and uh, r power right for the uh, k running from 0 up to 1 so a naught r plus a1 r power 1 minus 1 so it will result into uh, a naught is basically if you compare with this equation right this is your a naught so here a naught equals to one uh, maybe you understand the coefficient of this is one and the coefficient of this is minus one by four so a naught equals to one this is a one so a naught equals to one a one equals to minus one by four so by putting here we get and uh, this should be equal to zero so that means a1 is one so that means r plus a1 is minus one by four and r will be uh, one minus one zero r power zero is one so it is says that means r equals to one by four so we get r equals to one by four so the uh, homogeneous solution is so the generalized equation for homogeneous solution is so we find y of h n equals to c1 and r is 1 by 4 so c1 
1 by 4 power n. So this is the homogeneous solution. Okay, the next step is to find the particular solution. So in particular solution, now we assume that uh, output is of the same type as the input. So the input is 1 by 2 power n u of n. So that means it will be something like, uh, let p represented by y of p and we say y of p equals to 1 by 2 power n okay and uh, u of n with a constant c so replacing the value of y of p in the given equation so we get c into So we have found uh, the particular solution and homogeneous solution. Particular solution uh, is, uh, let's write first the homogeneous solution. So homogeneous solution is y of n, y of h n, and this is equal to uh, c1, 1 by 2 n. And the particular solution we just found is y of p equals to 2 into 1 by 2 power n. So the complete solution will be y of n and y of n equals to uh, particular solution plus the homogeneous solution or okay so y of p plus y of h now i forgot to mention uh, n here so y of p n plus y of h n okay so by putting value, we find that it is um, uh, YPN is 2, 1 by 2, uh, 1 and 1 by 2 to the power n and we say n is equal to or greater than 0 so this is y of n now we are going to find the value of the coefficient which is unknown coefficient that is c1 once we find this one then it will be the complete solution so c1 can be obtained from the initial conditions given so we can say that y of n okay we write it in recursive format so it will be y of n equals to x of n plus uh, 1 by 4 y of n minus 1 this is the original equation I just I just wrote it in the uh, recursive form so we are given that y of 0 y of 0 is and not y of 0, y of minus 1 is equal to 
8. Okay, so putting the value of y of minus 1 in this equation, we find this is equal to y of minus 1 uh, n equals to 1 in fact, so that it will be uh, x of minus 1 plus 1 by 4 y of minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. Okay, so Actually, uh, because we are already on y of minus 1, so we are going to find y of 0. Okay, so y of 0 will be x of 0 plus 1 by 2, and this is 0, so it will be y of minus 1. So this is y of minus 1. So by putting values, y of 0 is basically 8 x of 0 you can easily know that x of n equals to 1 by 2 okay so when this 0 to power 0 it so it will result into 1 plus 1 by 4 right and y of 0 is how much y of, oh, sorry y of minus 1 is given which is 8 so that means 4 ones are 4 twos are that means y of This is y of, this is not y of 0, in fact, uh, uh, y of 0, so this is equal to 2, 1s are 2, 2 plus 1, 3, so that means y of 0 equals to 2, okay. So by putting value of y of 0, in this equation, we can find the value of C1. So let's put it. So uh, if I write it like this, I hope, okay, I write it here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the value of Y of zero. So Y of zero means Y of zero equals to X of zero plus uh, C1 uh, this is not X in fact this is uh, 2 right okay so let me correct it so y of 0 equals to 2 which we have just calculated and then anything power 0 is 1 1 into 2 is 2 plus C 1 so that means c1 equals to 0 oh actually this one is wrong okay 2 plus 1 is 3 so i have written it mistakenly 2 so this is basically 3 so when this is 3 that means uh, 2 comes here, so C1 equals to 1. So now we have the complete solution of this differential, of this uh, differential equation, and the complete solution is you understand the complete solution equals to the uh, homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. So in homogeneous uh, solution we had one unknown and we solved the value or we found the value of that unknown unknown using the initial condition and we are given that y of minus 1 equals to 8 so the complete solution is okay the homogeneous solution is also mistakenly written as this actually the homogeneous solution is 1 by 4 here right so that means this is not 1 by 2 this is basically 1 by 4 so uh, it will be 1 by 4 so 
when n is equal to or greater than 0. Or you can also write the step function with it. So here is another numerical example and we have to find the complete response. Now the circuit shown in the figure here has differential equation equal to this one and we have to find the complete uh, response. We are given the R value equals to 1, C equals to 1 and initial condition is Y of minus 0 equals to 2 and the input signal is X of T U of uh, uh, input signal x of t equals to cos of t uh, u of t. So if we look at this one, if you recall the previous lecture, we have done the same example, right? So uh, let's uh, take uh, with uh, some different values of these, but uh, the generalized, uh, the homogeneous equation or the homogeneous uh, solution will have the same value because the input value is uh, different right along with the initial conditions but uh, we have done the same example so let's take the same values of the homogeneous we already found so if you recall or you can recheck with the lecture that it was uh, y of h t equals to C e power minus T over R C and the units are volts, right? So if I replace the values of the resistor and capacitor, so simply I get Y of H T equals to C into this will be exponentially taking signal this one and the, uh, the particular solution is which is also we have done in the previous lecture so I'll just write down straight away the values of the uh, particular solution what we found so if you recall or you can just check so it's 1 over 1 plus RC omega naught square into cos of so here omega naught is 1 so if I straight away replace with one right because it was uh, there if I so the input there was uh, cos omega naught t whereas now we have cos omega uh, cos of t and u of t right so if i compare the two i can find that basically omega naught is now uh, omega naught equals to one right so that means i can uh, erase this one so i just just replace omega naught with one so I'll get uh, something like uh, R C right square into cos of T plus uh, R C or one plus R C square into sine of T, right? And 
and uh, t is greater than zero because we have the uh, step function here and also r and c are one so that means we can say the particular solution we have already found is given by uh, this one so one plus one one by two so i can straight away write one by two uh, cos of t right plus one by two sign of t where t is greater than zero and the uh, particular solution we obtain is this one uh, not sorry the homogeneous solution right so that means the complete solution will be equal to something like y of t uh, it will be something like y of t and it is equal to you know complete solution plus the uh, homogeneous solution so homogeneous solution is c e power minus t and plus 1 by 2 cos of t plus 1 by 2 sine of t where t is greater than 0. So now we need to find the value of this constant so we found on the previous slide so let's put the initial condition that is y of 0 by replacing t with 0 so that means c e power 0 plus 1 by 2 cos of 0 plus 1 by 2 sine of 0 so you understand that sine of 0 basically equals to 0 cos of 0 equals to 1 this will also result into 1 and y of 0 is 2 so we can say 2 equals to c plus 1 by 2 so that means c equals 2 I think you can try 2 minus 1 by 2 so this results into 3 by 2 so the complete solution of this equation is given by y of t equals to c is 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 and e power minus t plus 1 by 2 cos of t plus 1 by 2 sine of t and this is valid for t is greater than 0. So that's all for the complete solution of the difference r difference and differential uh, equations it is informative to express the output of a system described by differential or difference equation as sum of two components 
and these components one of them is the one which is associated with the, associated only with the initial conditions the other is due to only the input signal we will call the component of the output associated with the initial conditions as, as the natural response of the system and the other component of the output due, due only to the input uh, as the force response of the system. So the complete output will be equal to summation of the nat uh, natural response and the force response. Natural response, it is the output uh, of the system when the input is zero. It describes the manner in which the system dissipates energy or the memory of the past presented by non-zero initial conditions. It is obtained from the homogeneous solution as it assumes zero input. And it is obtained by choosing the coefficients of homogeneous solution by satisfying the initial condition. So it does not involve the particular solution. You understand why? Because particular solution considers the input. So here we have uh, the same example that we have previously encountered two times. One uh, once when we were finding the particular and the homogeneous uh, solutions and uh, uh, particular and homogeneous solutions and now uh, the third time for the finding natural response. So the conditions are again similar. Uh, the, the involved resistance and capacitances are units and we have x of t as input and y of t as the output, right? So we use the same expression that we have uh, found the homogeneous solution in the previous lecture. Now to obtain the uh, natural response, we'll choose C1 so that initial condition is satisfied. So let's write the already derived uh, expression for the uh, homogeneous equation solution so let's see if you recall or you have the lecture you can see that the uh, expression for homogeneous solution is y of ht equals to c1 e power minus T, you understand we have replaced the values of uh, C1 and R1 so that the expression results into this and you understand the output Y of T is basically voltage so Y H T is also voltage. Now replacing value for the uh, initial condition you know that we represent the natural response by y of n so this y of n t means the natural response of the system and this is uh, it can be found by uh, replacing values in the homogeneous solution because we have already done this so uh, y of n zero is given so we just replace y of n0 uh, equals to 2 so that means c1 into e power minus 0 so y of n0 which is given here this is y of n0 right so y of n0 equals to 2 so replacing 2 i think they, these are quite straightforward right and this is here c1 e power 0 equals to zero r uh, one so the natural response is just simply y of n t right i hope you will not get confused with the n for the discrete time case right 
we have to cancel just a, a uh, subscript so we find that the natural response is this one for those given conditions right and this 40 is equal to or greater than zero so uh, this is the natural response let's take another example using the discrete time systems so let's we have y of n minus 1 by 4 by this example we have already transferred by doing the uh, particular and homogeneous solution and minus 1 again I think when you doing the complete solution so this is equal to x of n this is given so you know for natural response we I replace the input with 0 so it's, we can say that it's uh, synonymous to what we have, what we do for the uh, homogeneous solution. So let's find the natural response for the system. So if you can recall, the uh, we have done this before. So for the case of the homogeneous solution, it was uh, y of h n and is equal to c1 and 1 by 4 to the power n now to find the natural response we need the initial condition so for example the initial condition is y of minus 1 let's use the same value we previously used for finding the complete solution so let's we say y of minus 1 equals to 8 so that's quite straightforward to find the value for the uh, natural response so by replacing uh, value in the equation we have obtained for the homogeneous uh, this is equal to for example minus one right this is the homogeneous solution okay so minus one this is equal to c1 and this is equal to 1 by 4 power minus 1 so this is equal to 8 so this will be equal to uh, this 1 by 4 so power minus 1 means 4 so this is equal to 4 c1 so that means c1 basically equals to c1 equals to 4 a 8 divided by 4 which results into 2 so the natural response represented by y n and here we write the uh, n this is equal to just replacing the coefficient value in the homogeneous solution we get the natural response so this will be equal to 2 into 1 by 4 power n so this is the right and this is valid for n is equal to or greater than minus 1 you know that the complete output is equal to the natural response of the system and plus uh, force response of the system so we have talked about the uh, natural response 
and now we are going to talk about the force response we have done some of the numericals using both discrete and continuous time examples to clear the concept of uh, natural response now we are going to do the force response force response is defined as the output of the system due to input signal so it assumes zero initial conditions thus it is of the same form as the complete solution of difference or differential equation a system with zero initial condition is said to be at rest so uh, the force response depends on particular solution which is valid only for t is greater than zero or n is equal to or greater than zero so let's consider some of the examples using discrete and continuous time let's consider a numerical example to find the force response so this example we have already done for the complete solution now let's redo it for finding the force response the complete solution of this equation was y of n So this was the equation for the complete solution. Now to obtain C1, we translate the rest condition that is y of minus 1 equals to 0. to n equals to 0. So we obtain y of 0 equals to so we obtain y of 0 equals to 1 plus 1 by 4. You understand how I get 1. If, you, if I replace 0 here, so it will be 2 power 0 is 1, 1 by 1 into this 1, it will result in 2, 1, and y of minus, minus 1 is 0, so I get 1 here. So now using y of 0 equals to 1, so I can find the solution, y of 0 plus uh, y of 0 equals to So replacing the value here, so uh, I just put y of 0, so this will become y of 0 and this will become this, so I hope you understand this will give you uh, y of 0 is basically we have already found 1, so it will be 2 plus c1. So it implies that 2 is added here. If I shift to the other side, it will be C1 equals to minus 1. So the force, so the force response can be found by force response. We understand is represented by y of f into n, and this is equal to. x of n and x of n is basically 1 by uh, so putting values here y of n will become y of, of n because we are talking about the force response so replacing values here c1 we found is minus 1 so we get this one as the force response and you understand this is this expression is valid for n is equal to or greater than 0 and for other values of the n it will be zero
So with this we end the lecture for today. So these are some of the numerical problems. I want you to go through them. These are practice problems, so they will enhance your um, understanding and concepts. So these are the problem on this are related to the complete solution, whereas here the problems that are uh, related to the natural response and uh, finally these problems are related to the uh, force response so we have covered three topics in this lecture one was the complete response uh, complete solution then we determined the force uh, natural response and after that we determined the force response so these are the three different topics we covered so the last three slides, they contain the uh, numerical, numerical problems or practice problems. So hope you all of you will try them. And if you have any confusion, we can discuss them in the live session. So uh, that's all for today. Assalamu alaikum.